The Tributes of the Blood of Jesus, Donna Edwards. Of being in on a secret, there's a real excitement in knowing something others don't know. Do you remember the last time you were enthralled by a good mystery? It's hard to let go until the answer is revealed. The Bible speaks of mysteries. Jesus spoke of the mystery of the kingdom, while the Apostle Paul spoke of the mystery of the rapture and the great mystery of Christ and the church. One subject that is still a mystery to most Christians is the blood of Jesus. However, God never speaks of the blood as a mystery. So I believe that he wants you and me to know all about the dynamite benefits that are ours through the blood. The answers to the question, what is the power of the blood will revolutionize your Christian experience and produce powerful results on a day-to-day -day basis. To properly comprehend the power of the blood of Jesus requires an understanding of its Old Testament counterpart the blood of sacrificial bulls and goats. In Leviticus chapter 17 verses 11, God provided the condition for atonement by saying, for the life of the flesh is in the blood and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. It was the shed blood upon the altar, the death of the spotless animal, which brought about the atonement of covering for sin. After it was shed, the animal's blood was sprinkled on the mercy seat, the golden lid on the Ark of the Covenant. The very presence of God was a above the mercy seat by virtue of the shed of blood sprinkled there. Because the penalty for sin is death, the animal's death in the place of the sinner symbolized the ultimate sacrifice by Jesus for man's sin. According to Hebrews chapter 10 verse 4, the blood or death of a bull and goats was not sufficient to take away the sins. An animal death was not an adequate substitute for the death of a sinful human that required the death of a spotless human life, the life of Jesus. The Bible says we have redemption through his blood in Ephesians chapter 1 verses 7. To seal our redemption after his death, Jesus ascended to heaven and through his own blood he entered the holy place once for all mankind and offered himself to God. Hebrews chapter 9 verses 12 and 14. Because of his death, we enjoy the benefits of God's grace and mercy. We enjoy his very presence and we call ourselves Christians. It is faith in the shed blood of Jesus Christ that obtained God's favor for us, giving us our new name. Many times as Christians, we have only thought of Jesus's blood as the agent that cleansed sin from our lives. 
but his shed blood has accomplished far more. It's that far more which has remained a mystery to many Christians. To grasp the power that is available to us through the blood of Jesus, I want to compare the physical facts about human blood to the supernatural facts about Jesus's blood. The physical qualities of blood provide a stunning picture of all the spiritual realities we can enjoy because of the shed blood of Jesus, our great physician. Although there are eight attributes of Jesus's shed blood, I want to spend the rest of our time focusing on the first three, and I'll cover the remaining five attributes next time. As blood moves through your system, it removes waste material from your body. Likewise, the Bible explains that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive our sins, to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. This cleansing is powerful. Jesus warns the Pharisees, you appear beautiful on the outside, but your hearts are like the insides of tombs filled with death and all uncleanness. Matthew chapter 23, verse 27. The cleansing power of the Lord's blood purifies our hearts from the inside out. Just as your blood carries away waste from your system, Jesus' shed blood removes the filth of sin and uncleanness from your daily life. His blood purifies your heart perfectly so that you actually become a temple of God. Blood is the central life supply to each of your body's cells of which there are millions. Each cell in your body receives new blood, new life every 50 seconds. The life-giving substance of blood constantly supplies your body with strength to continue living. The shed blood of Jesus gives us continual life too. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life and I will raise him up at the day, at the last day. That's found in the book of John in chapter six, verses 54. Through the blood of Jesus, you now have a full supply of abundant life, divine, eternal life, that sprang forth the moment you were born again. From that moment you stepped into a new life. The life of God became your life to sustain and strengthen you forever. The blood flowing through your body warms your system to a temperature of around 98.6 degrees. The blood of Jesus also prevents our spiritual temperatures from growing cold. In the book of Matthew chapter 24 verses 12 speaks of coldness in a person's life. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But in Romans chapter 12, verse 11, the Apostle Paul admonishes us, never flag in zeal, be aglow with the Spirit, serve the Lord. In a sense, 
Jesus' blood is your spiritual climate control. How can you stay on fire for God in this sinful, cold world? Stay energized with the blood of Jesus. His shed blood provides you with spiritual fuel. Recognition of all that the blood has accomplished will warm up your relationship with God. It will raise your spiritual temperature. After denying Jesus, Paul followed Excuse me, Peter followed the Lord from after afar in Mark chapter 14, verses 54. What separated Peter from the Lord? Peter had become spiritually cold because of fear. That fear drove him to warm his hands by an enemy's fire. Peter's spiritual temperature plummeted. That created a distance between himself and God. Sometimes we see Christians backslide, usually due to unconfessed sin that cools their spiritual temperatures. How heartbreaking, especially when Ephesians 2.13 tells us that Jesus' blood draws us nigh or close to God. The blood was shed by Jesus to bind our hearts and wheels to our maker. In the book of Revelations chapter 3 verses 16, God warned, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. God wants us to be hot. He has provided us with the shed blood of his son to keep our spiritual temperatures turned up to high.